What's going on, scum buckets? This is Mike Alpha. I'm super excited to be here with you guys. We got a new build today that I'm going here with. This is a PvP build, and uh, I just want to go ahead and get right into it, uh, as we always do. Let's go ahead and get our character model. Uh, I'm gonna pick this one right here. Pick the tattoos that I like. And guys, let me tell you something. This character model right here, I keep picking this one lately, and I realized why today. It is because this guy reminds me of the golden eye villain from James Bond, Baron Semity. <laughs> if you're familiar with the old N64 classic, Baron Semity was in the, the Egyptian level, uh, the golden gun related topic there. This guy looks like Baron Semity. Look at him. I mean, come on, guys. Amazing. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go with concealed mode. We're gonna go with, you know, Mega Wang. Deep Wang. Deep Wang. As always, and uh, I'm gonna leave everything at three across the board for the most versatile, uh, you know, starting point here for your character in the long run. Uh, what I wanna go ahead and tell you is this. This is a PVP server I'm gonna be on. Uh, you can apply these to PVE, but you know, realistically, uh, I play PVP, so that's just how it goes. But I wanna go with this. We're gonna go advanced stealth all the way this time. Uh, there are some ways, obviously, you can AFK level your character, stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of nerfed a little bit than it, compared to what it used to be like. So stealth will help you be, avoid making so much noise when running near mechs. Uh, if you've been suffering the mech stomp, uh, as many of us have experienced at some point in time, when they crush your body into little smithereens, um, this will help you be able to jog, walk, run, um, kind of a lot quieter uh, compared to if you had zero stealth skill, okay? So we're gonna go advanced. This also helps you be a little quieter uh, with players, uh, you know, not maybe hearing you as much in brush, things like that. We're gonna also go ahead. Uh, I know a lot of you are probably wondering why did I pick this instead of thievery? Well, basically, it, we're coming to find out that the best way to do thievery is either have no thievery skill and just level it up, which is quite a grind, but uh, I feel like you save points uh, investing in other places. Or if you want to be a base raider, um, you know, go advance thievery. That's what I would do, but realistically, it's not that difficult to pick locks um, for as far as lockers and bunkers, police stations, stuff like that just with no skill it's not that big a deal uh, and if you get lucky you'll find an advanced lock pick or something like that um, and if you have one of those good uh, 40 out of 40 uh, screwdrivers uh, you can get one of those and you can keep picking away as long as you have bobby pins anyway stealth is what we're doing uh, we're gonna go ahead and also i'm going with again pvp um this is debatable so let me explain this now that they have modular cars things like that you may want engineering at least at like a medium level as well as for some of the base modular building uh you know you may want to consider some engineering uh if you do not have like at least i believe a medium engineering uh it could be basic but i'm pretty sure it's medium you won't be able to really uh take parts off cars uh add them things like that so engineering might be up your alley if you think you're gonna try and you know hunt down car parts and have a vehicle um, you're gonna want to lock that vehicle obviously if you get it otherwise it's you know you're wasting your, your time uh, I'm not gonna do engineering survival will level up as we chop trees so I'm not gonna bother um, if you're a noob and you know a beginner uh, you may want to take basic survival which will give you a north compass pointer uh, on the compass on your HUD uh, when you do focus mode with the right click uh, that will give you at least a north marker if you've been in the game um, for a while you may not need any at all and you'll just level it up pretty quick anyway uh, and you can kind of just hit the map key with M and you kind of look and see what direction you're running and you kind of figure it out from there sniping I'm not really gonna bother with a skill on that right now even though it is very very useful advanced sniping would be the way to go if you're dedicated to long-distance combat engagements uh, it will help you do your zeroing much faster on your rangefinder um, and it'll help you a lot. Uh, the other thing is awareness will level up over time. Um, I personally have noticed if you have a higher awareness skill, uh, such as medium to advanced, I, I don't know if it's just, a, you know, if it's 
really built into the game or if it's like placebo effect but sometimes i'll notice my nights are a little bit less dark uh compared to having no awareness skill i feel like as i've played the game and i haven't changed any settings really on my display or anything or graphic settings uh but i feel like if you have a higher awareness skill and as you build that up the nights become less dark for you um you know please comment you know if you if you think that's not true you know it's fine but again could be placebo could be not i think it's making it a little bit less dark at night so the night vision requirement really isn't that big a deal I feel like venturing at night other thing that awareness will do is if you have a higher awareness you can see items farther away uh they will kind of ping like a little star you know like a little uh twinkle uh so to speak a little highlight of uh an item you can see at a distance um I've, I've actually been able to see items pretty far away before like intense even at night because of this awareness skill being a little higher but you will get this leveled up uh by dragging items in and out of inventory stuff like that it will go up eventually and as the more items you have around you uh, around your player you'll be able to have the xp go up exponentially quicker camouflage you're going to be in bushes uh, a lot if you're trying to stay you know hidden and recover health or stamina this will level up passively over time it is a really good skill if you have advanced camouflage you're very very hard to see uh, especially if you want to be the sneaky player you might want to take advanced camouflage uh, this can be countered however by awareness and so if you have a higher awareness than someone's camouflage skill currently uh, you will still be able to see them even if they have a camouflage skill leveled up uh, as long as your awareness is higher than the camouflage now if your camouflage is higher than the other person's awareness skill then you will be hidden from them uh, and so forth so farming i'm not really worried about at this point if you want to be an aggressive player and just really see what all has, the game has to offer as far as like getting loot having some engagements with uh players things like that i wouldn't really worry about farming until you st really start to settle in with base building um that point it might be worth investing it'll help you a little bit with crop yield and things like that um so i'm saying all this to say the best skill at this moment if you want to survive in a pve environment or pvp uh is really advanced medical guys it is incredible to know that if i just had one shirt i could rip it i could basically heal from c4 bleeding with like maybe two to three rags and that's it uh versus the five to six plus that it may take and if you get clipped by a you know a mech in a bunker trying to get in and out of somewhere or poi or something like that it's gonna suck you know and you're gonna it's gonna take you out of the fight for a lot longer uh and you risk losing your stuff whereas advanced medical um it's a lot better guys it really really is and if you're a team or a duo or anything like that you want to have at least somebody with an advanced medical who's going to be the medic for you because this is a lifesaver right here so we got those skills knocked out let's go ahead with our strength skills now for strength skills you want to go with advanced rifles all the way up this is going to help you with being able to uh have a steadier aim uh, you can hold steadier with a sniper rifle or with a regular rifle it really really helps you out reduce the shakiness and the scope wobble um, so i definitely encourage advanced rifles you can level up melee and handgun and all that stuff archery with events uh, if you want to level up archery you can do some of the events that are like the primal events where it's archery and melee only that's a cool way to do it uh, you can also level up rifles and handgun with events but if you're just ready to get to you know get into the action you want to go to find a bunker and find you know a good police station or naval base or something you find a rifle you want to be able to use that rifle effectively uh as you know best and accurately as possible so um go ahead and take advanced rifles handguns you know you're at a close enough distance it's really not gonna matter that much uh with shakiness or anything like that so you know just take advanced rifles early game melee is very very good um you know i've taken advanced melee before because it is a little pain to like level it up it was so much better than t having no or basic melee let me tell you uh you can swing faster you can do combos quicker i feel like the damage is a little better when you're actually you know hitting opponents um or puppets things like that 
Uh, but as you start to play the game and you get to where you're facing armored players with machine guns, stuff like that, it is just, it, you're not going to win. You're not going to win. So you're going to need to have some kind of gun really to counter them in most situations. Um, now, constitution skills. I want to go ahead and take advanced running. Um, you could, if you're really annoyed with the foods aspect of the game and you're really sick of the whole endurance, like, you know, having to wait in bushes longer to for stamina recovery, you might want to take at least medium endurance and medium running. That might be a way to go. It'll give you a little bit less, uh, you know, time spent in a bush for stamina recovery and also food satiation, uh, stuff like that. So this might be a good one, but for me, I like being as fast as possible. So we're going to go running advanced. And it kind of will help level up endurance a little bit quicker, uh, being able to run a little faster, which means you can cover more ground, which potentially gives you, you know, more XP that you can earn uh, quicker. So we're going to go ahead and hit create and quick review, advanced rifles, advanced running, advanced stealth, advanced medical. Bada boom, bada bing, let's go. All right, looks like we're at A4 here, which is actually not that bad of a location. I really hate doing night videos, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see what we can do. Um, anyway, so here we go. I'm going to try to get into the naval base. So I really need to go ahead and open that sucker up. Parachute with F. And there we go. And let's go ahead and float on down here. And I'm going to try to go ahead and actually just run straight there. I'm going to grab like a spear and that's basically all I'm going to do. So that was a really long open. So I might have pulled the shoot a little too early there. But oh well. So we're making a quick stone knife. That way we can go ahead and uh, cut up rags if we need to. Things like that. And I'm going to chop a bush right in front of me here drop that now this is a starter bank card also i want to go ahead and literally just go ahead straight up destroy this card that way if anybody you know i have no money in the bank as you can see in the hud there but you don't want to cancel your cards you just want to destroy them uh you know at least your starter card so that you don't have to uh lose money from people you know killing you and getting access to your bank account uh, canceling your card does in fact not let you have it back um, until you die and respawn again you'll get a new starter card as you have bigger bank cards as far as like the classic card uh, it's a hundred dollars to get um, or the gold card that one is a lot more expensive I think it's about five thousand uh, now real quick I'll get back to that in a second I'm trying to see which direction I'm in um, I don't have my marker here like I hut my HUD showing north south east west is not available to me right now because it is uh, No survival skill I'm Trying to determine which direction I'm actually going at this point I really can't tell I can't tell Let me sprint a little bit Okay, so I'm going west so I need to go like south um, let me see this. I think this is an olive bush right here. Nothing found here. Olive bushes are a great way right now currently to get fame points. Um, you will need some form of fame points to start getting certain items at the traders. So do try to get olive bushes and pick them for olives. That is a good choice right now. The fame situation is kind of in a weird spot. Uh, you can only really get fame from killing players uh, as well as selling items, things like that. But if you don't have a lot to sell, um, you're not going to get that that quickly. So you need to kill players and or loot items, um, drag them into your inventory, stuff like that. This used to give you fame. Um, let's see if it does. That gave me five fame. Okay, so that's working right now. Let's try this again. Click it, double click it, 10 fame. Okay, boom. So that works still, that's great. One of the other servers I play, it does not work. So at least now we know it's still working. Um, you don't really wanna eat these. They'll give you food repulsion really quickly and it's annoying cause you'll throw up. But as you can see, we went from zero to 10 fame 
by looting two grubs from the log. That is another way. Now, we're trying to get down here to the naval base. That's our point of interest. So we're going to follow the river along here and come down this way. And if nothing crazy happens, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the naval base. Now, real quick, I just did a thing where I just looted this cricket and I did not get a fame point at all, but I did get a fame point for looting uh, the larva. So that's just something to think about. I'm going to go ahead and eat this cricket really quick. I have been having zero luck, guys, finding any olives. So you may find that to be the case as well. Uh, you're going to find a better chance of finding uh, larva in a log or something. That's going to be a little bit better for you to get fame points, I believe, for the frequency of. I mean, you can still keep trying to loot them, but dude, I have been looting tons of bushes. I can't find any olives. Um, so that's kind of a little frustrating currently. Um, I hope that they will put it back in the game where you can kill puppets and get fame. Uh, I haven't noticed that that's been the case yet since this recent update. So I hope they'll fix that. We're still on the hunt here on the way um, to the naval base. Let's test it again. I'm going to go for the larva. 20 fame. Now I have 20 fame. So it's giving you 5 fame per larva. Go back into the... the uh, go back into the log again. Double click the cricket. Not getting any fame from the cricket, guys. So if you want... I actually could just go ahead and eat that. I'll take it and eat it. So... Larva gives you fame, five fame per larva. And crickets do not give you fame. Super strange. I guess the devs want you to uh, enjoy those delicious little creatures, huh? One of the things that sucks about being at night, guys, is obviously there are players with night vision. Uh, in one of my other videos, you saw just how easily we were getting, uh, we got sniped out in the middle of a field from some guy laying prone in a field, which really sucked. Um, so there was that risk. There's also the risk of blowing up from mines, which is really annoying. Um, but if you can get lucky, there is luck in this game. Um, not like Fallout where you have a luck perk, of course, but... You know, the scum gods sometimes will give you a little break here and there. At least I like to think it is. See, no olives. None. This is an olive-free zone, apparently. For a Mediterranean area, there is no olives up in this bitch. It's ridiculous. Trying to cut. All right, we're almost to the naval base, which means we're. This is good. This is also very far, very scary. Uh, I play v, I like playing PvP, guys, because I like the adrenaline rush. Okay, and sometimes it scares the shit out of you. Okay, it really does. But isn't that? Oh, finally, olives. Twenty-five. There we go. Olive thirty. So olives still work. Giving you five fame a pop. Super nice. Uh, these are bushes here too. Like they're supposed to have a plant like agave or something like that. Haven't had. Oh, look at these. So I'm going to drop these. I'm going to click 135. Because I don't have a lot of room. Another. Ditch them. Ditch them. I could just make a quick crafted. Um. So look at that, we're at 50 fame. So that's still a really great way to do things. Now, what do we get if we eat them? So if you press control, left control and hold for more, it says, it'll show you what you'll get um, from the item you eat that you consume. And this doesn't give you much of anything really. So uh, really not worth even bothering with. So I'm gonna just ditch them. The cricket, however, gives you protein. Uh, you'll see it gives you barely any carbs, but 0.5 grams protein. I mean, it's really low protein, guys. But, you know, to any of you out there who are debating 
you know, this will give you some, this will give you a little bit of protein and a little bit of fat. And so you can go ahead and eat them. Let's check and make sure your health though. If you go to the metabolism menu and you go to health, you can see if you're going to get food repulsion or not. So quickly kind of navigate back and forth there. So we're going to eat, check it, no food repulsion, eat. We're just going to eat them all. Hopefully it won't vomit, but it's not giving me any repulsion. So we should be good to go. But a lot of you are trying to figure out how to eat. Um, starving out there, you know, hard out there for a pimp. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's it's not that hard to find food. And if you go straight to hotspot zones, like a bunker. Okay, look at this agave plant. All right, where are we at? We're at 50. Let's see if it gives us anything. No, so agave does not give you shit for fame. Don't even bother. Where are we at on the map? Uh, we're getting close, but these are just some things you should be doing on route guys. That way, um, you know, you're stacking. So let's see. Boom, boom, 60 fame. Now I'm going to lay prone real quick. I want to show you what happens when you eat the larva real quick. I'm going to get that queued up. Eat. Food repulsion, boom. Quite like halfway. And then you have to wait for it to stabilize. Actually, it's not going to stabilization. Let's see what happens when I eat again. So see, I almost, if you get to liter, uh, stabilize pretty quickly there and now the recovery stage. But if I eat another larva guys, before this recovery stage is completely done, I will throw up everything in my stomach and that's a big old waste. The most Don't eat larva. Unless you do it like I just did, which is kind of, you know, safe to do it. But it's kind of tedious. Really. Now, this is a mega risk. Oh, I just got shut down. Okay. Okay, so we just had a server reset, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and keep going here. Sometimes you'll get kicked out of the game, guys, and that's just part of it. Um, but that's just so you can have the servers run as smooth as possible. Um, it also will reset the loot. Now, this stuff over here is pretty good stuff over here. Um, but I will say that it's also very risky. Let me see if I can find a hole in the fence here. There we go. Oh, please don't have a mine. Oh my god. Sometimes you gotta jump over the fence there or jump through the fence to help avoid a mine if some jerk wants to plant one there. Um these containers out here aren't really the best loot, and there's a bunch of mechs patrolling. So there these are some little I'll show you what's over here, but these are just little container areas. As you can see, there's a mechs patrolling here. There's gonna be puppets in these. Uh, there's a rag. I need to just go ahead and I'll wear this real quick. I need to make a quick satchel is what I need to do. He's coming back. Uh oh. Yep. But I'm trying not to take breaks in here and craft things because I just want to show you guys that you can just kind of run and gun and go and fishing rod. What is this? A hat? Don't need that. Anything in here? I'm going to lay prone here for when he comes back. Nothing. Sometimes you'll find a handgun in these little spots. This is a little too quiet for my liking. I feel like somebody's going to sneak up on me any second now. Look at the ground for any mines. Always close the door. Do it faster than I just did, please, dear God. Some metal. Oh, baby, there we go. We got a screwdriver. Need that for opening lockers. There's a bra for all of you guys out there liking that. 
We got coffee. Let's go ahead and drink it. Help with a little satiation, possibly. One thing that's made it so easy is black coffee. If you drink coffee during the fastest state, you get incredible mental alertness and focus and appetite suppression. Let's hit the next building really quick. You can use third person, as you can see here, to kind of patrol and see where the mechs are. I already checked these, okay. There's a freaking bastard right there. Oh, and I just screwed that up. The spear is good for keeping him at a distance, which is kind of nice, but it takes a lot of hits. Uh, ideally, you'd like to make a metal spear or a stone spear, but this'll do. That'll do. Any goodies? So what I'm going to do really fast is I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And I'm going to go ahead and make a satchel. So that I can go ahead and have a little extra carry capacity. So we're going to do that. Boom, boom. We need like an extra one, I believe. So let's cut that. And almost ready. Satchel, satchel, satchel. Where are you? It's down here somewhere. I can't move it down far enough at the moment. In mid cut. So this, we need rope. So you can also do rope with some rag strips. So we're gonna cut one of these into rag strips. Right click and select the action you want to use. And one, two, one, two, three. Oh, I need one more, man, thing. Okay, gotta cut one more uh, of these really quick. Now these actually have storage capacity in them, I believe but we don't have enough of, we don't have a sewing kit yet. So there's no use in grabbing these at the moment. And provides rope out of five strips. Always try to check around, listen out. And boom, so we got that one, two, three, actual rags of rope. And that will let you make a courier backpack. You don't have to hit craft, but you can just do it from the man, you know, the manual way. Um, and you need to select your knife and the courier backpack is being made. And this will help with the capacity issue. And this is just the outskirts. Obviously we have to get actually into the actual naval base itself. This is just the outskirts. And as you can see, you guys, it's taking forever to craft anything because we have no survival skill taken for frickin' ever. So that's kind of annoying. But these are trade-offs you must make. Oh, and one more thing. Cut your puppet up so that you can get a bone needle. So if we get lucky enough to find thread, uh, we can repair some clothing that we find. And then we can, you know, have way more storage capacity again. That is super handy. Big win right now is the screwdrivers, man, I'm telling you. Uh, and where are the bones? Oh my lord. So, okay, there. Sometimes the bones go in a really stupid place. And you kind of have to, like, hunt them down. Sometimes they'll glitch through walls. Or they go outside. Or they just won't have any bones at all, because they're made of rubber. So we're just going to take one th thread right now. Uh, I mean, needle. I don't, I don't know how lucky we'll be with getting two thread, but you never know. Plus there's plenty of puppets we'll find along the way. What is this, rubber? Eh, take a bolt, might not be, I might take the rubber. You can take a rubber uh, piece or two rubber bands plus some scrap metal. You can always make a metal sword, pretty dope. Oh wait, I didn't get this right here. Did not check, did I check this? I did, okay. I hope to God nobody's watching me. How come I feel like somebody watching me?
Come I feel like somebody watching me. Yeah. Anything else? Do check your vicinity. Uh, you press tab and you can see your vicinity. Sometimes I'll like run through places and I'll just kind of like vicinity check everything. Cause you never know what you'll find. You might find something you don't actually see in front of you. Like um, grocery stores sometimes will have rifles behind cash register. So like a 22 or something. Um, which is nice. And sometimes you won't see it at first without vicinity checking. And I'm not going to check any of the rest of these except for those three right there. And if we want to be mega risky, we could. Well, I'll wait. I'll just wait. Sometimes you got to have patience. Patience sucks, though. Patience sucks. Lead plate to make bullets. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, we're gonna leave. There's a bomber. Something's here. All right, we're gonna leave. Oh shit! Uh, run! I think it was just a mech. I'm not too worried about them killing me, but they can. Uh oh. All right, they're on the hunt. This is why you want the stealth. We're running. We're running. Run, run, run. Super risky move I just did. Super risky. And then there's that mech over there. That's locked. Some fuckers took that over. Sometimes you'll see guys take over stuff like that because the mechs are patrolling and it's a good little quick lockup you can have um, for loot. I'm going to get down prone. So that's a, kind of a cool thing, but that was a shed. Somebody obviously taking it over. Now I really need to get... Where am I on the map? I need to get towards the other side of this area. This is really risky shit. That mech is looking this way, which means he would alert the other guy. He turned away. Where are we at with mechs over here? I'm gonna run in. What we got here? What we got in here? Anything? Anything? Nothing? Oh, son of a bitch. See? Hmm. We got here and I mean I don't like triggering bots like that because it's kind of not stealthy but what are you gonna do shit happens guys shit happens I go up here. Anything? Nah. See, these are these are not really the best areas to loot, if we're being honest. Oh shit! Hello. Get away from me, big boy. Nine. Nine up oh, ten hits Missed Damn eleven Twelve hits Jesus Christ Come on Fourteen hits Damn dude That puppet Nail not bad 
Um, you can make a toolbox with some screws, nails, scrap metal, and a couple planks. Ooh, he was right there. Yeah, this is really not a good zone here to be in. Um, I'm gonna try to get out of here because this is not, this has not got anything. I go up here. Anything? Nothing. All right, bobby pins, that's useful. The locks are useful too, um, but we don't need them yet. Sometimes you'll find in a bunker, you'll find um, backpacks or, oh God, he scared the shit out of me. Jump scares, come here. See guys, you can survive with a wood spear. Handling the PVE elements or PVP, but PVP is a lot harder to survive with like your basic wood spear. It's very hard. Nothing good, okay. So basically, kind of don't bother looting this building. Uh, it's really got nothing for you here. There is one more level up, but I might have been down. Did I, where did I already, did I already go here? All right, let's see. Yeah, nothing here, man. Nothing here. So basically, you kind of have to realize you got to focus loot certain things and know like, hey, if I need locks, I go find offices to check file cabinets, um, stuff like that. Bobby pins. Well, oh, holy shit. I stand corrected. Blair cartridge. This has got. Wow. This has got some shit, guys. Some chat. Some uh, lockers. Holy shit. We stumbled on a little thing here. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a bobby pin out. Right click to take them out. We're only going to be able to unlock three of these suckers currently. We're going to right click, craft a lock pick gonna unlock three and uh, let's try let's go for the big three what do you say all right F to pick lock that was pretty easy I kind of had a wonky mouse there for a quick second but that was easy See, this is no lock picking skill uh oh there we go Still able to get it done. A little rusty, a little rusty. More flare cartridges, come on. Well, it gave me some pain points. Nope, it didn't. Didn't give me any fam actually. All right, cool. Boom. So see guys, this is now nothing there, but you can unlock these lockers, okay? With zero lock picking skill literally no problem all right and um that's just something to know so don't invest in points that you don't think is worth it at the point at this point you know now i gotta find my way out of this bitch um 
somehow. All right. I'm gonna try to. I'll try to go up here. Oh, he's red over there. I mean, somebody's over there. He's been triggered. Why are you going so fucking slow, dude? You gotta survive, bro. Jump. Kind of keep yourself, you know, moving around, dodging. Never know who's out here. Um, that's kind of the beginning, guys, of like this area. So like you can kind of see like what's out here. And um, there's a lot more stuff, obviously. This is a huge area. Uh, if I can somehow sneak my way up here, there's an opening up there. But this whole area here is huge. There's so much stuff here. You could loot here forever. So if you want to lock down a little building, may not be the worst idea. And you know, there's just something to think about. So I'm gonna go ahead and log it here, guys. And the next guide will try to go ahead and show you what's available inside the actual naval base. Uh, in a daytime setting so that we can get, you know, we can make sure we're not missing anything and also give you guys uh, the best experience seeing what this place has got to offer. So I appreciate you being here with me. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can see the next one. And as always, I appreciate you guys. And remember, be alpha. Oh, ah! Damn you, Mike. Fuck you. You're too good.